2018 is, is the 25th anniversary of the founding of Onyx. We, we started in 93 um, and our main sort of remit that we've had all the way throughout is to commission new music. We're absolutely passionate about it. I think we've premiered or commissioned over, well, well over 150 new pieces now. Um, so this is another 12 to add to that list. Um, this has been uh, in the gestation quite a long time. I uh, I've always been a massive jazz fan and I was lucky enough to study in Banff in Canada in 1994 and uh, Kenny Wheeler was one of the tutors and I really fell in love with his music. I was lucky enough um, probably six or seven years ago to play on Gwillem Simcock's Instrumation CD. Got chatting to him and asked whether he might fancy writing something for the quintet and he very generously agreed. And uh, I also got chatting to the drummer on that project who's a lovely chap called Martin France who um, plays drums or played drums for Kenny's band and I was talking to him about my long-held ambition to get Kenny to write a piece for us and he said I'll oh, just ring him I'm his drummer you know just tell him I said so so I summed up the courage and uh, rang Kenny at home and um, he was absolutely lovely and said send me your CD and so I sent him a CD and he rang up and said okay you guys are very good I'll write you a piece and bless him he said it, it may take some time but uh, literally three weeks later I came out of the shower in the morning and I had a missed call on my phone from Kenny Wheeler which was already quite an epic moment for me um, and uh, he finished the piece already so I went popped round to his house one Saturday evening and uh, had a glass of wine with him and he gave me the original manuscript he hadn't even taken a copy of it or anything and um, once Gwillem and Kenny were on board with it, it became quite a lot easier for me to make the uh, cheeky phone calls to other amazing jazz musicians to say, how about writing something for us? And they were all, to a fault, absolutely lovely and up for it and really keen. Um, I think the, one of the greatest joys for me is having 12 pieces now that are all totally different in style. There's not an, an overlap amongst them, really. Kenny's piece is, is with characteristic, quirky Kenny humour. He's labelled one for five, but it's actually two movements, so that's pretty, very standard Kenny humour. And um, it's, uh, as quite often with Kenny, it's, it's a reworking of, of tunes he'd written. Um, the first is Pretty Little Waltz, and the second is Everybody's Song, My Own. Uh, and he, that's very Kenny-like. It's got lots of slash chords and quirky little cross rhythms. Um, Gwillem's is, is, a, is a beast of a piece to play. It's um, called the Stomp. It was originally called the Catford Stomp, I think, but then he moved away from Catford, so it just got rechristened the Stomp, and that's a very sort of whirlwind, very fast number. Um, Lawrence Cottle's piece is very gospel-y. Um, Mark Nightingale's is, is a very beautiful ballad dedicated to his daughter, Rosie. Trish Clues, which is a lovely um, sort of angular and quirky, uh, a little bit Stravinsky-like in places piece, which is dedicated to the memory of uh, the Charlie Hebdo attack. It's called the Mighty Pencil. Uh, yeah, they're just just all very sort of complementary. A few slow ones, a few quick ones, a few hard ones, a few soulful ones. Few, it's just it's great. Um.